so if I play this game uh, you will notice the characters are not exactly aiming towards the head of the enemy head of the player see they are sort of like targeting towards the legs not that head we can clearly see that when we move closer to a enemy see they are like uh, targeting at our foot so I want them to look at the head of the character the head of the opponent so how can we implement that the first thing is uh, we have this AI system if I open the behavior tree that you are controlling the characters and the shooting part we have this set focus task so basically what it does is we set the focus we set focus of the characters ai controller with the actor that they have currently targeting so in this case it happens to be the player because player is the only actor that is that belongs to an opponent team so right so how do we make it make the characters focus on player's head so to look into that we have to look into the definition of this set focus so so i just did some googling and this repository showed up actually I, this is not the official repository it's just something that is publicly i can just access it's 4.11 but it's still i think these things are pretty much the same so yeah in here this is uh, AI controller dot CPP which is the class that we have used for the NPC characters AI controller mm. this uh, this is based on D2 a crowd AI controller but that is a subclass of AI controller that should be a subclass of AI controller so that also has this set focus method let's search set focus so all it does is giving getting a reference to the actor so since the character ai character keep looking at the enemy character that means the rotation should be updated in the tick so where is the tick here here oh here we have this update control rotation so let's look into the definition of this one right here so right here we get this focal point using this get focal point function and then the rest is based on that if we do have a valid focal point here the character is looking at that point so now let's see what happens inside this get focal point that's the definition right here so all right now here we have we get a reference to the focus actor focus item dot actor dot get so here we pass a reference to the focus actor and from that using this get focal point on actor function we get a result so the result is an f vector okay so the next point is get focal point on actor right here we have that if the actor is not null we basically return the location of the actor so here instead of just returning the location of the actor if we return the head location this should be fine so just to test this um, let's try something like this let's go back to our project so this ALSA controller is based on 
detour crowd AI controller. So let's go to our C++ classes. Create a new C++ class. Show all classes. D. So for some reason we don't have the detour crowd AI controller here. So I, so I did a bit of googling and I found out this thread. So basically what we have to do is extend from the AI controller just like the detour crowd AI controller and use this constructor. So basically what we are doing is instead of the path following component, uh, we use u crowd following component. So it should be same as the detour crowd AI controller. Let me open here. Right here we have the D to a crowd AI control. Alright. So if I go to the C class, we can check this piece of code that is mentioned here. So basically we are doing a quick oh, workaround to keep the D to a crowd AI controller properties in our custom extended C++ class right so now let's create a C++ class extending from AI controller next uh, what should we call it let's call it ls no let's call it clm AI controller class okay wait till this is compiled right let me open okay here we have the CLMA I controller and as I showed you before we have to implement this function in order to make it work like the d2 crowd ai controller so let me copy this change the name to ours and do the implementation with our name of course right do we need any headers This one is required. Okay, let's compile and see if everything works to make sure that we don't have any errors. Let me delete this blood pool. Right, compilation complete, and we don't have any errors. So now instead of this d2 crowd ai controller of this ALS AI controller's parent class i'll use clm ai controller and reparent and see if everything is still fine Everything seems to work fine except this is they are still showing at the root of the character not looking at the not aiming at the head right 
that's what we want to fix next all right so yeah as i said before we are going to override this function get focal point on actor and how should we do it we, let's override this in our header file so basically it should be like it should go like this uh, let me copy this This is the controller.cpp. This is a controller.h focal get focal point on actor your function public. All right. Implement this create the definition in the AI controller.cpp created so let me just copy this implementation let's update in intelligence right and paste it here so this is the original implementation so just to test uh, not just for testing as a temporary workaround let's add a new web vector here uh, to move the aiming location upward usually a character has a height of 90 yeah 90 so let's try 90 to def so this is only temporary uh, because if we have some different characters this 90 would not be would not work we would need to have some different method like instead of getting actor location we can have a completely different function like get head location or something but let's just test if this method works now right compilation complete let's test and see let's move closer see now the characters are uh, not aiming at the head not aiming at the legs they are pointing upward so it looks wrong but our method is working All right, so our system is working. Maybe we should reduce this instead of using 90, how about 40 or 50? Right, see, it looks correct. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this episode right here. Right, so it is working as intended. And thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.